So I'm driving around looking for a place to uh, move our Friday night evening services because OHOP is moving by the end of this month. Driving around looking at buildings, potential churches to possibly rent for Friday night services only. We'll be moving our prayer meetings into the offices. We are also looking for a Tuesday morning location because our Tuesday morning prayer set is packed. Uh, well, I shouldn't say packed. We have about 50, 60 people. But look at this. Those of you logging on, I want you to stay with me. Look at this. This is a mosque. This is a mosque here in Okoe. Every Friday, they, ha they, they pack the mosque out. They're even having to use open grass area to fit more cars for parking. I want you to see this. How easy it is for Muslims to gather together in prayer because they have a culture of prayer. But when it comes to the body of Christ, it is so difficult to gather God's people together. This is a mosque. They're seeking a false God. And we, who know the King of Kings and Lord of... Look at this. Their parking lot is packed. They're there for a prayer meeting. This happens every Friday in every mosque. This is Okoe. I'm so grieved by this. It's unbelievable that here is Muslims and they gather together in prayer. They have a culture of prayer. Look at that. Allah. Allah. My goodness. When is the body of Christ going to learn? When is the body of Christ going to understand that unless we gather together in prayer, we have no power? It's not about our church services. It's not about our church events, our church conferences. It is about the church gathering together. I want you to see this. I pray this provokes you. I don't care what church you go to. There are ministries of prayer all over the nation that are struggling. Christian meetings and then Muslims, they prosper. They prosper. Look at this. Muslim security guard. How you doing there? God bless you. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at this, packed. This is a house of prayer to Allah. A house of prayer to Allah. It is packed. They have to park, you know, on other property. I'm so grieved by this. It bugs me. I'm sorry to say it bugs me. It just shows how weak the condition of the American church is. We call for a barbecue, a church barbecue, and everybody shows up. But you call for a church prayer meeting, Forget it. People are too busy for that. No wonder the American church is weak. And no wonder the Muslims are growing and influencing. Let me tell you something. You know, when, especially when we face tragedies, the answer is not church services, church events, Christian concerts. The answer is not our nice Christian gatherings. It is coming before the Lord in prayer. You know, here, look, look at this. Now I'm going to show you something. You just saw... You just, let me show you the difference, okay? You just saw this gathering. Please stay with me for another three minutes or so. Let me show you our parking lot. We've been open 24 seven, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the last um, three and a half years. Let me show you our parking lot. This, that prayer meeting is about maybe a mile the most from our house of prayer. Let me show you our house of prayer. If you'll stay with me for another minute or so, we're just almost there. Just gotta get through this traffic light. Let me show you our church offices. Hold on one second. That's our church offices right there, that little building. That's our church offices. We're gonna have to move our prayer meetings in here, unfortunately for a season, until we uh, get an open door elsewhere. So we're about, I'm almost there to the church. Let me show you where we're at. And uh, it's, I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm bothered by the fact, I'm bothered by the fact that we're so weak at park. And I'm pulling up into our parking lot right now. All right, I'm, let me show you. I just showed you a Muslim Islamic weekly Friday prayer set. And here's our parking lot. There's people in there right now, but let me show you. You ready? You want to see the difference? Here it is. Look at the difference. I'm going to press it right now. Okay. There's... Let me show you our sign. There's a sign for the Orlando House of Prayer. Open 24 seven. Now look at our parking lot right there. Look at that. You have four cars. I'm number five. Five cars, including mine. I'm driving around looking for a place because we have to be out of this building by, uh, we have to be out of this building by September 30th. We don't know where to go. Keep us in prayer. Um, and, and then we wonder why the body of Christ 
is so weak. But I believe we're gonna we're gonna still contend in prayer. And you know, if you're in the Central Florida area, you have a house of prayer that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Take advantage of it tonight. And this is it's like pulling teeth tonight, especially with the impending, you know, horrific, demonic, evil storm coming to Florida. Hurricane Irma, the word Irma means uh, goddess of war. We need to contend against that in, in face of all the, the Hurricane Harvey and the fires out west. Hopefully people will show up tonight. I know, I know I'll be there. My wife will be there. I know some people have responded. But we should be packing out prayer meetings, whether in Florida, New York, in California, wherever the, wherever the body of Christ is calling for corporate prayer, we need to gather. We should, we should be outdoing the Muslims. Then they should, then they're outdoing us when it comes to prayer. And so just have mercy, God, in America. Have mercy, God, in the church. Awaken your church in Jesus' name. God bless you. Keep America in prayer, especially the body of Christ. Be blessed.